Alright, today we're going to be recessing and dunking free in two. To do this first, you gotta take everything off, just pop the side cap off, take everything off, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a shim, uh, well, what I use, I use a shim off a uh, freehand zero, put it in there, then you're gonna take a screw long enough so it'll fit through there into a piece of wood. You can use anything, probably over an inch wide, and then just you screw it into the piece of wood. Now you want to get tight enough so it doesn't wobble, but not too tight so it doesn't move. So just get it nice and snug and then you can adjust it from there. So you want it to move pretty freely, but still you don't want it to wobble. So just get about there. Now, the tools I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using a 1 4 inch router bit. You can also use a 1 4 inch mill. Actually, the actual size of a friction sticker is 3 16 of an inch. So you can use a 3 16 bit if you want, but it's going to be a really tight fit, so I recommend using a 1 4 And we just set our drill press up. Alright, if you get set nice and snug, you take the yo-yo that's already been placed on the wood. You want to place it on your drill press so it is just slightly, the drill press is just slightly over the yo-yo. So you got a little room to work right there. Then you're going to take some clamps, clamp the wood down. Alright, now since we've got it placed, you got to check to make sure it's going to leave a little lip on there after you do it. Because if you don't leave a lip, your bearings aren't going to fit in there and it's not going to work at all. So just set it down so you get a little lip you want. You don't want too big or else it's going to be too hard to put the freaking sticker on. But you got to make it too small too, so or you don't want to make it too small either, so it doesn't mess up your yo-yo. Alright, we're ready to cut now. The most important thing when you're doing this is safety first. Just Shouldn't make sure you do this over adult supervision or if you're an adult. But you must, and you should probably know how to work a drill press pretty good before you attempt this. And make sure not to wear any loose clothing because that could be kind of hazardous if you get that stuck in a drill press. So and it looks like we're ready to start going. <laughs> Alright, I'm still not in there quite far enough, but when you're doing this yourself, if you're not sure how far to go, the best thing to do is just take it off, unscrew it, take it off, put a friction sticker on it, try it out, and then if you want to go deeper, you can go deeper. It's better to do that than go too deep and end up ruining a yo-yo. Well, looks like we're deep enough now. So now, just take the air off and give it a try. All right. I mean, after you take it off, there'll be some little marks on the yo-yo where the drill press made, and. Uh, you want to sand it just a little bit, because if you don't, um, the freaking sticker will be kind of hard to take off. So just go ahead and get like anywhere between 100 and 150 grit sandpaper and just take it, fold it, and just work it in there. All right, after you're done sanding it, I sanded mine for about two minutes or so. And then it'll look a little cleaner. It'll be a little white, maybe. If it still is, you can do it more, and you'll eventually just get rid of all the white. But it's gonna be a pain and probably take a while, so it's just under the sticker, so it's no big deal. And just throw your sticker on.
And then got yourself. So it's just freehand.